when Bugsy came up with the concept for the song, Woman is Boss, there were a couple of players, or I tell you, one player in particular, who said he wasn't playing that song because the title is Woman is Boss. A woman is no boss as far as he's concerned. And Boosie told him when he could leave and all of you there, that's the name of the song. And the guy didn't play. Woman and Pan, a brand new series that's launching this evening, actually. And with me this morning, Maria Nunes and Mark Lukwan, the executive directors and producers of Woman and Pan. Good morning. Morning, morning. Morning, j -Ron. Welcome to the Now Morning Show. So, all right. Tell me where this idea started from. Let me start with you, Mark. Where did this whole concept come from? It started with a song <laughs> called A Better Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I, I did it with Terry Lyons and... Um, Gerald Forbes and an animation studio. I don't think there's even with the animation. The animation. Graphic. Yes, yes, yes. It was actually born out of a, a lot of turbulence going on in Trinidad, lockdown, COVID, I mean, that things going on in the States. And I thought it was a song that was needed to just say, you know, we can get through this. We can build a better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We can use our talents and let's focus on that. And then we did a series. First one was called, uh, you know, Better Tomorrow. It was focused on Kareem Brown, mm. who is the captain of, of the, the national NSSO. NSSO. Yeah. And we focused on him. And Maria produced six episodes of looking at community, Pat Bishop, music literacy, and what makes the person. Because you see the end result, but you don't see all the challenges they went through mm -hmm. and all the things that made the, the person. Yeah. So the second series we started um, called Women in Pan, and this has been an observation. I've been seeing that women and more women have becoming, you know, not only judges and commentators, but they have been playing in the band, arranging, making pans, tuning pans. And this series highlights five people, and perhaps Maria, yes, you well can of take course, it from Maria, here. you ought to take it from here because you know he say, he, Mark is saying that you know we see more prevalence of women in fun, but we. I mean, you know, women, women on the bass. A long time we hear about the women on the bass. You know, we've been seeing women playing in, in, in steel pan sections, but, you know, to see it expand into tuning and expand into arranging. And, I mean, you have people like Mia Gormandy and, and, you know, people who've been taking strides and leaps and bounds when it comes to women in pan. Tell me about what inspired you to go down this road and to what aspects of it are we covering? Well, this series actually looks in depth into five women. Mia mm -hmm. is one of them, mm. Dr. Mia Gormandy Benjamin. Um, Michelle Huggins Watts, okay. who of course is really, you know, led the way by being the first woman arranger to win in Panorama nice. um, with Valley Herbs. Mm -hmm. Vanessa Headley, who just making waves with Golden Hands mm -hmm. and also has won in her category in the small band with Golden Hands. Yuko Asada, who is based in at NIU mm -hmm. in the USA, where Liam Teague is right. and where Mia went to school as right, well. Right. Well, um, Yuko came down specially for this, and she builds and tunes pans. Okay. You know, she first was introduced it under Ellie Manette, and then, of course, with Cliff Alexis. Mm -hmm. That's where she really developed her skills. And then the last person, Natasha Joseph, the pan woman, <laughs> right? So, um, I mean, Natasha really blazed trails as a performer mm -hmm. at the highest level. You know, she really came to national prominence with Panas in a big way. Even before that, you know, with Pan Ramajay, when mm -hmm. she came in second, she was on stage with Robbie Greenidge and Boogsy and them in the Savannah, big yeah. showdown, and she <laughs> played with them. You know, so um, so those are the women, and the series takes a, an in-depth look at their lives. We have five in-depth interviews with them, and then we have five episodes, what I would call thematic episodes, where we explore contemporary issues in Pan. Mm -hmm. Tonight's premiere at seven on Mark's channel, Mark Lukwan Music on YouTube, is on gender issues. Mm -hmm. We also look at music literacy, which is something very dear to Mark's heart. We have one on leadership. We have um, a very interesting one on panorama. Mm. Uh, yes. And, and, and the and role that these women play in panorama? Well, their perspectives on panorama. Ah. 
Uh, that's the final one. Right. And then actually the second one next week, Yuko talks about the art, what, steel pan building and tuning. Some of it is art, some of it is science. You know that? Well, so of course. Yeah. So, so those are the five episodes. And I think that each one of them is meant to really engage the public um, to in, a, in a meaningful, substantial way. You know, today, Facebook is very reactive and social media uh, as a whole. Mm -hmm. When it's used in pan come up, everybody, you know, gets have hot under the collar and mm -hmm. we all have opinions. Mm -hmm. So this, the idea with this series was to give some very thoughtful perspectives from five practitioners mm -hmm. and to really help engage the public. I but think. I think more than that, I think it's a very important for us to be able to document uh, these moments in time because you know we all we all look at the Netflix and we see the this and the that and everybody else's story But our stories that you know we need to tell and this is definitely one of those stories that I think or a few of those stories That need to be told so you're saying that you have five full-length interviews with them and then five thematic uh, Shows so are we seeing all ten or are we seeing are we breaking up the five full-length into the thematic? No, actually it runs the five thematic run in a row for the right. first five weeks every Friday night at seven mm -hmm. and then the five full length they're going to run after. Yes, you oh, know. So wow. every Friday is new material. It's actually nearly 400 minutes of material wow. over the because the full length interviews are nearly an hour long. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I was very inspired in the approach. Attila Springer w w did the interviews, mm -hmm. and she's on camera. It's presented. Nice. You know, and it also involves B roll and all of their archives of photographs and video of stuff in their lives. Plus, I also shot them in their environments here. Mm -hmm. And because Yuko came, I was able to shoot her tuning, tuning a pan. Up and nice. So we I, I did my own B-roll of, of each one of them. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, each 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 week is something is something new. The, the thematic episodes are shorter. They range in length between eight minutes at the shortest to the panorama is the longest one Naturally. at nearly 20. Naturally, panorama mm -hmm. is the longest. So it had to be the longest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know. But you know, what's very interesting for me is that both of you have been uh, doing this in terms of documenting our history and, and contributing positively to the national fabric. Uh, what, what keeps you going to keep doing it time and time again, Mark? Well, I think it starts out of a, a place that says, what can I do, you know? Uh, as opposed to being dependent on somebody else doing it. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think that's sometimes where we um, wait forever. And if this is within our control, and there are talent like Maria and all the pe people in this program, it's a good place to start. Mm -hmm. You know, I apologize for that. We couldn't do 100 people, you know, but resources won't allow. But, but, right. but I think if you get a picture of people's stories, like Kareem, like me, or like Natasha and so on, you, you get a, a chance to see that they can inspire with that story, mm -hmm. that we have something to learn from each other, that we can lift up each other, no matter the turbulent times that we're going through. So what keeps me go doing this is really the better tomorrow lens. Mm. You're looking to get a better tomorrow. What about you, Maria? Speaking of lens, <laughs> what keeps you going? Well, you know, Pan is very dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest body of work outside of my work in Carnival in my photography. And, um, and these are women that I, you know, I have been following. And telling sto our stories has been really important to me through my photography. And now I'm expanding it through the realm of filmmaking mm -hmm. and doing series like this. I've also really been inspired by, you know, people like Alvin Daniel, when we had Calypso Showcase. When we want to find, when we want to look at an interview on Stalin, have to go or Ella and the where we have to go, yeah. we have to go back there. Look, my pause reads. Yeah. I'm just saying those things, right? Gael, you know, when those interviews were done, you know, when Christopher led and they pioneered with Banya and, and into Gael, and when we want to look back, mm -hmm. those are the things that we are looking for. And I understood that it was important to do something in depth and something that I would figure in years to come would have some hopefully enduring value that Mia Gormandy, 20 years from now, mm -hmm. Vanessa Headley, 20 years from now, could look back on their younger yeah. self, and the public could look back and say, well, you know, have some point of reference. And hopefully we can also use it to, to teach in schools, and we can use it to educate the next generation as to what some of these women would have gone through 
Uh, right. You know, when you start talking about things like gender inequality and, and that kind of thing, you know, people can see, yeah, this is, this is what we fight for, and this is where we are now, and this is what we have to go through to get here. So I applaud the work that you've been doing. Please, please keep it up as much as you can. I know, I know the resources are limited here. They're talking to the choir here. I understand that. But, I mean, I think that, like you said, every little bit counts, and it's a start. So I applaud it uh, very much. Go check it out. It's ha happening this evening at 6 p.m. No, 7. 7 p.m. on Mark Loke One Music. Correct. YouTube.com slash Mark Loke One Music. You can go check it out and subscribe to the page because it's going to be showing every single Friday for the next 10 weeks. Because we have five on five. That's right. 10 weeks. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having Not us. a problem Thank at you. all. Okay. We take a quick break and we come back with more inside the Now Morning Show. Women in Pan on Mark Loke One Music YouTube page. Go check it out this evening.